涉及到一些呃技术问题和第三个其实，教授呃第一个问题，第三个问题类似的是有一些呃技术的因素，然后之前我们当然我们自己觉得就是说之前的紧迫性也不会那么重要，然后这个我们现在已经在考虑，比如说从玩家那边了解，就是这紧迫性是一个比较重要的一个优先开发。这点我有个补充，就除了技术的原因以外，对，我们自己其实也要比较谨慎的评估，就是这种一种平衡吧。就如果这个游戏真的，比如说各个地方都可以自动可以后台或者怎么样，我觉得可能它反而会让玩家失去一些跟这个游戏的链接。所以这种这种设计，我们也会更加的谨慎再去评估一下。So yeah, there's I think there's two parts to your question. First thing is that uh you know there's there was certain like difficult I think technical limitation that we encountered before. Uh, but yeah, meanwhile we're we're definitely aware of this needs. But you know we're internally we're evaluating the priority, like how, say, how many players have to experience the very same kind of a struggle in the game. And secondly, is that we don't want to make everything automatic. Like you know we can't just play everything off, right? Just let it sit there. We want to kind of you know making this kind of connection between the games and players. So you know with this kind of manual or like you know player direct play playing, you have like. I think your second proposal is really, really good. Uh, we, uh, we're, we're going to we want to get back, get back to our like, uh, headquarters back in Shanghai. We we're working on this problem. I have had some discussions to see if can okay, address uh, or utilize your proposal. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. I have more of a superficial kind of question here. I really like putting our trophy up in the field hall. Are there going to be any options in the future to customize the look or layout of the, the guild base? So thank you for uh, for your question. We we uh this is also within our conservation. This is uh, not. It's really because we understand that guild system is big in our game. So this is something we're working out, like to providing. Providing more kind of cosmetic options or cosmetic customization for the new guild halls and trophies, like you said, right? The 我想补充一句就是，就其实我们一直非常关注这个社区大家的一些讨论，所以其实很多大家的一些建议，包括我们自己会在一些那个 Reddit Discord 上面，我们其实常常会看玩家的一些反馈的，所以有很多这个大家都在这个呼声比较高的事情，都是在我们这个这个计划之中，但是因为我们。整个团队本身呢，大家这个产能是有限的，对，所以我们会从中挑一些我们现在玩家呼声比较高、我们觉得比较重要的东西，会优先来做。So the dev team will share that we, we for like uh they're paying close attention to kind of the community's feedback, through, whether they're on Discord or on the, like on Reddit. Uh, so like they are, they're aware of like most of the feedbacks from the players, but you know, sad, unfortunately, there's we this. We we have limited com capacities when it comes to like new features or like improvements of the game. So we have we are we can only prioritize you know which are the you know proposals or suggestions are you know the most uh, focused by the players themselves. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, I play in a very competitive guild, and so as we look at a lot of the, the large guild play, like Battle Bros and Clash Royale that's coming up, I'm wondering if you have plans to put more um, guild organization tools in the game for the officers and the leaders. Like when we want to try to give orders and tell people which way do we want you to attack and which way to pass, which, you know, what role do we want you to play. We have to do everything outside in Discord because there's really no in-game way of doing that. It would be nice if there were ways that you could like focus, if I put an icon over different powers or paths to try to help direct people, maybe even lock them idea. down so that people just don't go rogue and just do whatever they want. You know, as a competitive guild, it's really hard to kind of you know herd all the cats and try to keep everything organized.
这块其实有助于，而且我比如说我自己在跟工会上或者说新美工会，但我们的会长也是给我们一个一个一个导导去去去去去给我们来来制定这个来的这个计划。然后呃，我们呃，我们的目前的思思思路是这样的，就是我们会现在新增的玩法里面尽量把这个这个工会管理工具去做好。然后像白头之后这边的话，本身自己会有一些优化计划，可能稍微后面才可能在呃将来去带到。新增来，新增的话，我们会尽量去注意到，不会管理他们的一些管理工具的方便程度。So Brad shared that he is also in the guild, of course,、um, but he cannot disclose that. Like, yeah, but, well, but they do also communicate through Google Docs or like various like type of like non-in-game like channel to communicate. So they're we're like they're aware of this, this, this issues. So we tend to kind of in the future like do related or oriented gameplay for speed. To add more tools, you know, for like upcoming like game modes, like do related game modes, add more like, management tools, communication tools. But you know, per like you know,、uh, Battle Group itself, it, we of course we will we'll be working on that, but it's in the near future. Yes. Thank you.、Uh, hello.、Um, I want to say thank you first of all for organizing this. It was really thoughtful of you. I was not expecting for the lead designer and the producer to actually physically be here, so、uh, it means a lot. And、uh, my question is,、uh, I, it's more to help the game's longevity because I do think that we have a very special game, and for me, it's always. Very sad when a player decides to quit the game, not because they dislike the game, but because of various other reasons. One is maybe like they feel like they can't compete because、uh, they don't have the heroes to battle someone who maybe has a greater investment.、Uh, that's one thing. But I think also some people want to return. A lot of people have expressed that to me, but they don't really have like a reason to, or they feel like if. They're returning at a bad time. Like Waves of Entry was great because it was like a reset button in a way. Because like you had a brand new season, everyone's back on the same level, you know, level playing field.、Uh, but I think,、uh, I guess, like my question is, what things do you have in mind to、uh, keep players, but also have players return? And I do have a suggestion too.、Um, One suggestion I was thinking is、um, some games they do implement something、uh, that encourages you to return, even if it was just like a couple days a month.、Uh, it may be enough to help a player consider like, oh, maybe I should play this game a little bit longer.、Uh, the idea I have is maybe、uh, one thing that really excited me in the beginning of the game was like you know skins, like we got the Parisa skin, which was great. Um, I, I was actually originally thinking that for、uh, a game mode like Honor Duels, which is generally more free to play friendly, right? Because you don't need to own the heroes; you just go into the game mode. Whatever happens, happens.、Uh, but from that,、uh, we were able to get the Parisa skin.、Uh, so I was thinking maybe like once a month.、Uh, it doesn't have to be、um, Honor Duels, but just an idea like every month you have. Within this month, the opportunity to get a skin that you cannot get after that month. You know, maybe someone's like, "Oh gosh, you know, I, I don't really want to go through the grind of AFK journey, but I would like to log in this month for the chance to get this one skin that will only appear on, say, like, I don't know, November 2024, and I will never get the skin again if I don't log in and get that reward."、Uh, and Uh, I think the skins in this game are very good. I think you guys do a great job with them.、Uh, so you know that's an idea.、Um, yeah, and then also I think another idea for just player retention in general is just、uh, having a, a greater balance of rewards across all game modes.、Uh, I I do have a content creator friend who quit the game because his most favorite game mode was Honor Duels. 
but there were there were no rewards to get from honor duels, you know. So um, that's like an example. Um, yeah. So like you know, honor duels, arcane labyrinth. There's certain game modes that just don't have enough rewards to justify playing the mode. Uh, and you have a lot of great game modes, and kind of like what you mentioned earlier, uh, it would be really good to uh, whoever enjoys whatever game mode, you know, give them a reward that makes them feel like, oh, you know, I got something from this, and I don't have to be forced to do, to make top ranks in Dream Realm to get like temporal essences, as an example. Maybe uh, make it so like you know people have different strengths across different game modes, so maybe make the reward distribution a little more even so that you know people can play whatever game mode they want and still be able to progress their account uh, yeah, uh, so anyways the question was uh, what do you have in mind to help uh, retain players as well as encourage people to come back to the game thank you thank you thank you其实我们在设计这个FJoin的时候 so yeah, well, we definitely understand, uh, aware of like you know so there's some certain barriers when it comes to turn, like returning returning uh, players coming back to the games. So uh, we will considering having this catching up system in the uh, you know future updates. You know, for example, if you rejoin later later in the season, you can speed up. Uh, but yes, we definitely have taken this as one of our priorities in terms of, like future uh, developments. Thank you. Oh, so yeah, uh, that just shared that uh, like on, on top of that, on uh, the uh, with the intrigue for season two, we have one of the most returning players. Uh, well, not the most returning players across the, the entire list, but you know, it definitely it's 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 a lot of players for us. So I think uh, definitely we understand that uh, you know this is not enough for us. We're looking for like you know looking to improve this better and better in the future. But we but we we. Also, meanwhile, they have just shared they want to you know understand uh, you know what's the best way to this problem as well. They're still working on it. Uh, thank you. So yeah, and uh, specifically uh, regarding the, the suggestion that you proposed, that about the you know the stuff like limited editions, such as you know skins or whatever cosmetics, uh, this is definitely a good idea. That like m many suggestions you, you guys proposed tonight, is something we have already planned. We we plan to make it more and more significant. You know, as a way that to help you know returning players in the future, and secondly, uh, about you know th those players that you know who prefer a certain game modes that you know they they, they have a strong preference uh, in, in terms of playing the games. That's the exact reason we want to introduce a multi-option system. Well, this like, but by the way, this is not a, we don't have an official name for that. 
So yeah, we're just gonna call it, but basically, essentially, the system allows players to, you know, like I said, to play whatever mode that they prefer while getting the exact rewards. Rewards, you know, just we hope to care, like, like again, cater to different players' tastes, not only focusing, you know, placing on one type of players, but making a more diversified the game environment as possible. Thank you. I was wondering if there was any possibility of introducing collaboration and limited edition heroes, like in AFK Arena with Reaver Room from uh, that collaboration, uh, bringing them into Journey, and how would you do that, and if you have any hopes if it were to happen? Uh, definitely regarding partner like collaborations, this some this is one direction we're doing right now. But due to confi the confidentiality, hope I understand that we cannot disclose any specific <laughs> details. But we have something doing already, so please be on the lookout. This is uh, yeah, this is from Thank you. Hello. Hello. That's kind of hanging on the call. Uh, I just had a quick question. Um, I'm someone that uh, has a little bit of trouble retaining vast amounts of information. Um, I've been playing since day one, and I've been playing Arena for over four years, and I love it. I thank you. Changed my life. Thank you. It's gotten me through so many things. I just have a little bit of escapism, so thank you. Um, but one of the things that I personally struggle with. <clears throat> is building some of these formations because I can't remember what every single person does and who they're going against within a, a quick amount of time. Um, so I was hoping maybe there'd be like um, a little pop-up suggestion when you're about to do a bottle, like, hey, you may want to use Tossie, let's say, because you're going against him and he and she can help you. You know, not trying to form a whole team, and I know you can copy other people's teams, but if you really want to lose, use the game and learn it, Properly, I would think like I would rather be learning the whole time instead of just I'm getting there and, and I'm in a really good guild, I'm in the number one guild, and all that. And not because I'm a good player necessarily, because I just I'm nice, they say, and I play every day. So I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Um, so I'm just kind of there, like, oh, which is great. But I want to be better for my guild. I really do. I want to know what they're talking about. I want to speak their language. I'm a little bit older, so I don't. I don't. I just don't, um, but I want to. And I think that there was things like right before I was about to dial it, all of a sudden pops up, well, hey, you may want to think about this. I'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Because I'm not always thinking that way. I'm maneuvering. Like, oh, this is nice. I'll have, oh, that worked, woo! You know, that's it. But if somebody were to ask me, like he said earlier about the mentor thing, I thought that was super cool because I have been playing a very long time and I am on a number one guild for my server. But if you ask me, how to do this or that, I wouldn't be able to tell you. And I'm being dead honest about that. That's the only disconnect that I personally have, that I would like to be able to, every time I'm going to do something, I can have an option to, to get a little more information to figure out what I'm doing, if that makes sense. Thank you. Thank 
让他们去进行一些这个组队或者是搭配。So yeah, of course, uh, we definitely are aware of this kind of struggling or like uh, you know frustration sometimes. So we tend to address this problem through two approaches. Uh, first one is definitely you know uh, like uh, you know have more kind of uh, optimized feature to help to guide you through like you know uh, we, we should say information 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 wise you know, how to manage your information. And secondly, is you know not only that we hope to solve this uh, kind of problem or. By simplifying the UI or simplifying the information, you see, make, make, making more straightforward when you're forming your information or mm -hmm. in general, like in com combat weapons. Mm -hmm. So, so your question really, really, really touching, touching me. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, so I, I know the combat system of our game is not easy. It's not easy. Uh, so, uh, as the the the, the project said. We will all try to uh, make some system or some function uh, to solve this. And I just uh, write down the, 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 the things you you, you, you said. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, we will have we will have try to uh, do something about it. But I cannot just uh, uh, tell you the, the detail of the solution because I, I I actually I don't have it right now. But we will uh, try our best to solve this question. Any other questions? Go ahead. Hello, I'm Magister from Server 510. And my question is, uh, could you give us a little bit more information about the new mode flash front? Maybe some tips or long How do I read it? <laughs> Uh, this game was uh, uh, inspired by a uh, mini game in uh, in uh, Mario Party. Uh, in Mario Party. Mario Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, we we make this uh, four view and free for all, uh, so that this can create more strategy and so more uh, uh, so so uh, evite. Yeah. So, so uh, I think uh, uh, we we play uh, 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 in our uh, development team. We play it uh, 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 quite a few times before uh, we launch it, but uh, not too many because not too many times because uh, we just finished uh, a few days before we release it. Uh, uh, so uh, it's my experience. Uh, um, I think there are two parts are very important. Uh, first part is to uh, to to look care of every term what the map become because uh, the map we design uh, 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 contain those strategies. And another thing is important is uh, there are may, maybe uh, the, the, the 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 first strong uh, guild and the second strong guild they will uh, fight in uh, one block. And they will uh, cost the, all their uh, all their teams. Uh, so uh, in the in the battle we play in our uh, developed team, uh, actually not the uh, 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 I mean uh, the the fourth the, the, the weakest kill, but actually uh, we won the second place uh, in the game. So uh, I think uh, to uh, watch the turn what or to uh, to watch uh, the. Every uh, the, the the map become every uh, between every terms and uh, try to uh, communicate with some guild uh, in this uh, free for all fight. Uh, I think it's important. Yeah, thank you. Any uh, other questions? Yep. Hello, I have two questions. The first one is I was kind of curious why the Wilder faction got too much love as opposed to <laughs> like they are <already. laughs> and. The second one is, um, uh, is there any plan to make the battle system more deterministic? Because in arena, like there's a lot of like RNG moments where you know, you know you you win like you know twice against this like formation, but then like for some reason you lo lose the third one and it makes the game like less strategic and more like RNG. And 
it's kind of hard to play like around those you know RNG elements. So for the first question, uh, you were asking about like why there's so many uh, louder pulse on social media. Is that what you're asking? No, the, now I was referring to out of four factions, like uh -huh. why Wilder uh -huh. is you know, the, the green color elf inspired faction, and you know, oh, it's, you, you know, there are just too many of Wilder, you know, like character pickups. I see. I see. Got it. So yeah, regarding your first question, on um, definitely because every season, where every major updates, we have a certain theme. So uh, that's why we have more wellers in, in the first place. But you, as you know, with the introducing of like with the intrigues, we're seeing more and more greyborn, of course. Uh, but uh, secondly, uh, like like uh, Jiangmin just shared, oh, oh, but still, even with kind of themed updates, we're still looking at you know to try to make the game game kind of overall this is kind of matches uh, among different factions. Yeah. Yeah. Well我觉得这个可能是我们的这个核心战斗本身的这个机制导致的对就是其实我们包括我们上一代在做 so uh, uh, about this, uh, regarding your second question about like RNG elements, so I think uh, you know it's RNG elements is part of our core combat uh, design. That's not only in FK Journey but also in FK Arena. If you pr play our previous game, so I think that uh, John just said that uh, you know compare with you know having this uh, RNG element embedded our game compared with turn-based games, it kind of creates more surprising or like you know different kind of outcomes out of every combat. This is kind of we understand that there's pros and cons of having this, but you know it's part of it's it's a hard question that we it's quite hard hard topic we have to can tackle yes. This is a very uh, a very hard tricky question, and actually we made some efforts to make it less RNG. Uh, uh, compared to the AFK arena, uh, but actually a real-time battle I just cannot uh, just uh, get rid of it. Uh, but I see what we will. Uh, actually, we, we always pay attention uh, to those things. Uh, uh, we will try to uh, limit its impact, impact uh, in the in the in the uh, gameplay. Yeah, but uh, uh, just like uh, for example uh, uh, in. In arena, uh, uh, we will uh, uh, just like offer a chance that you can uh, challenge the, the the enemy without losing the points or without losing uh, uh, without losing the uh, point. Uh, I I didn't remember uh, uh, when will this mechanism uh, uh, well, when will this mechanism come into uh, the game? But this will help to uh, help to to. Uh, to uh, yeah, uh, solve this uh, question in some small part, 
uh, but actually this hard to so we will uh, pay attention we will pay attention thank you all right we have time for two more quick questions Hey guys, uh, Danger Gray in the Guild Leader of Analytica, on S1. Um, so uh, you said earlier about uh, you were going to open up uh, the ability for, for people to join each other's guilds across servers, uh, maybe in the future. Is, is that, will there be limitations? Will it be like only within your certain district? Or, um, and, and also, the way that you've done that, you know, we're on, we're on S1, we're also on PTR, and it, it, I think it works really well on PTR how you maintain the leaderboard, like for, you know, PTR1 has its own leaderboard for Dream Realm, but then you're still able to, to play together. So on the larger scale, do you plan to allow people to join guilds from, from any server? Um, and also, are, is there any plan for Awoken Heroes in Journey? Sure. To, to make it social. And another thing is uh, if uh, actually you want to play with your friends or you want to uh, join a strong uh, guild in another server, uh, this will uh, maybe uh, the, 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 the tra 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 transfer, transfer uh, is, uh, is, uh, will help this, uh, in this situation. But, I, I, but we will always uh, to, to, to make sure the, the transition will be fair to the serve you uh, enter into. You, uh, uh, just like the uh, very old uh, old uh, player can, a uh, uh, long term player cannot just uh, join a very new uh, sure. new serve. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what was your second question again? Like, uh, is there any plan for Awoken Heroes? Awoken, oh. Awoken Heroes, like AFK Arena. Like for example, right now in the current season, 
you know, we found an interaction between, you know, uh, Rowan, Corin, and, and also that seems to be broken. And that team is just really outperforming anything else when you have double uh, life bringer talents. And we just see that that's something that's going to continue throughout the entire season, but that's, that team is going to be broken unless something gets patched or fixed because of that. So. Thank you. 